Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome back to another vehicle tutorial. Today, as I said in this week's update video, we will be building this forklift that you see behind me. It should be a very simple and straightforward build, so without further ado, let's get started with the materials. Today we will be using black concrete, smooth red sandstone stairs and slabs. We will also be using blackstone, blackstone stairs, blackstone slabs, and blackstone walls. We will also need gray stained glass panes, gray carpet, a dark oak fence, an orange candle, orange banners, and we will need some string as well. We will also need stone buttons for the wheels as per usual. So without further ado, let's get started on this build. Start by finding where you, where you want to uh, build it and place your front wheels one block apart from each other just like that. Then leave a three block gap going towards the back and do the same thing in the back. Next, on all four sides, fill in with upside down smooth red, red sandstone stairs. That's a mouthful. Just like this, and then across the middle three, you can place slabs on the upper half of those blocks. Next, in the front, on top of the front wheels, take your blackstone walls, place one, two, three, four, and one, two, two, three, four on each side, just like that. Now, leave a two block gap going towards the back, and then on the third block, so it should be the middle block, place a stair facing the front, like so. Next to that stair, place black stone, and then two black stone stairs in front of that facing towards the front, and behind all of those blocks, place three full red sandstone blocks, just like that, using the slabs. And then across the back, we are going to have a row of stairs, just like that. Now, on top of the red sandstone blocks on each side, place two black stone walls on each side, just like that. And then in between all of these walls, we are going to fill in with gray stained glass panes, except for the front. Leave the front open like that. Now we can take our gray carpet and fill in along the border here. We will do the middle two once we get our string out here in a second. Now decide where you want your fork to be, so you can put it all the way at the bottom, or you can put it all the way at the top, it doesn't matter. I will put mine, we'll go kind of above the middle, just like the one over there. So I'm going to have my stairs one block down from those top set of walls, which means above those stairs I'm going to place a wall going across. And then I'm going to go down to the next block below that wall, and on the lower half, place a black stone slab so it should look like that. It should be on the same uh, level as the lower part of those stairs. And then of course we will place the fork in as well here in a moment. But that is the start of the forklift. So let's go ahead and get out our next set of materials. So again that will be the fence, the candle, we will want our gray carpet still, we will also want that string as well. So start with your two string in the middle, again one block below where the carpet is, so that we can place our carpet for the roof and have that be complete. And then place string underneath those two front stairs and extend it out by two on each side going forward, so that we can place our gray carpet, just like this. If you're using a texture pack and the string isn't clear or almost clear like that, I would recommend perhaps the barrier block if you have access to those commands. Alright, now go to the back. On the back left stair, place a fence, put an orange candle on top of it for our beacon light, and then let's go ahead and place our orange banners, place these on the two back wheels, and then one more on the middle, just like that. And I believe all we have left is going to be our stone buttons on the wheels, so we will take those out, and on all four wheels, we will place those down. And that is the finished forklift. Just real quick though, I do want to show you a couple variations in the uh, fork, so say you wanted to have it go all the way to the top, 
well, we will just continue on with that. Just leave, well, I'm going to say for this, hmm, have the wall connect, don't have any slab, we should be fine without it, and then just place the uh, string down and the carpet, so you can have your forklift all the way up like that, or alternatively, you can get rid of all of that string, I know it's really hard to see, and you don't have to place any string, just place the gray carpet on the front like this, place your blackstone stairs down like that, and then put the wall going across the front, plain and simple, and we can wreck that wall up there, or we can leave it. I suppose it kind of looks all right if we leave it. And that is our finished forklift. Guys, if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see more just like it, be sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on daily videos as soon as I upload them. If you have any requests, you can leave those in a couple ways. The first is via the link that just appeared in the top right corner, or you can leave them down in the comment section below. If you need to contact me, you can email me. My email is contactoptimisticgamer at gmail.com or DM me on Twitter or Instagram at OptimisticGMR. Also check out my website, theoptimisticgamer.com, for more updates, news, and a gallery page. And head over to my Patreon account if you would like exclusive ad-free content that will be available for $3 a month. But that is all I have for this vehicle tutorial. Once again, comment, like, subscribe, remember to stay optimistic, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.